How our brains make decisions. I think there were just three key words here that I want to talk about. So the first part of the way the brain makes a decision is by monitoring the environment. So a lot of decision making begins with perception. You've got to know about the world that you're living in and you've got to make a decision which is appropriately, appropriately aligned for what's going on in the environment. So for example, if I have to decide whether to cross the road or not, I really ought to have my eyes open to see if there's uh, a car or a motorbike coming from the left or from the right. So we need to sample the world to get good perceptual information to inform our decisions. The second key word is outcome value. So the brain makes decisions by a process of predicting which of a set of possible actions is likely to be most beneficial, which will have the best outcome value. So if I have to decide which restaurant I want to go to, my brain is going to take into account lots of factors like which is the cheapest? Is it the Italian restaurant, the Indian restaurant or the Chinese restaurant? Which one's closest? Which one's going to require the greatest effort to get to? Which one's got the best food? Which one's least likely to give me food poisoning? So I'm representing the outcome value, both positive and negative, economic, um, taste-wise, health-wise, of these different restaurant options. And only by representing the outcome value can I work out which one is best, or can my brain work out which one is best. So the brain has to predict the outcomes of possible actions, and the decision corresponds to the action with the best possible outcome. And the third keyword, which is probably the one that interests me most for how the brain makes decisions, is there's a little bit of noise, there's a little bit of something unpredictable in the way brain, the brain makes decisions. So, for example, even if the value of the current state is really high, then people will often try out something new. They'll explore rather than just exploit their environment. It's a little bit like if you imagine a, a sheep grazing in a field. So even if it's got all the grass that it wants, it's still worth looking at the field next door over the, through, the, through the gate or over the fence because maybe the grass is even better there. And it seems as though there's a biological mechanism built in the brain, just into the brain, to just try some stuff out from time to time. Because, you know, who knows? It may turn out to be useful now, it may have a good result, or it may just turn out to be useful later. So some serendipity or creativity or just noise in the brain is making us decide to do novel things from time to time. And I think that's one of the things which makes life interesting.